Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Dropper. And again, The Dropper is a custom map made by... Uh, oh, now I just totally lost the uh, name. Uh, it's a custom map. The information will be in the description. So, uh, uh, this is a pretty cool map so far. I hope everybody will uh, download it and try it out. So, we are at, now, level 10, called Rail. So let's go ahead and we'll get right into it. Uh, we've already slept to set our spawn point over here, so we should be good to go. And here we go. And... Whoa! Uh... Okay. That went, uh, spectacularly bad. Oh, and now we are lagging again all of a sudden. Okay, there we go. And incoming! Let's see... Oh, that's... Oh, those are subway cars! Cool! I guess that's uh, where we get the name Rail. Makes sense. Okay, we have to avoid the subway cars, and I'm sure we want to be close to them in order to catch the water at the bottom. Come on. Let's try and miss to the top. Oh, we've got to go through one, at least one of them. Because there was no water outside of them. Oops. Nailed it. <laughs> sort of. Come on. Incoming! There we go. Oh, that's cool. Dropped right on through it. Oh, I see a chest. Diamond! That's cool. It's a subway tunnel. And on to the next. <coughs> set that. Might as well set that. Up and up and up we go. So, uh, yeah, I hope everybody's enjoying this uh, little mini series. And uh, should be done maybe this episode or the next one. Uh, depends on how many tries it takes us at a couple of these map uh, or a couple of these levels. Um, anyway, while we're getting up here. Uh, you know, with the Feed the Beast and the Technic Trials map, the Feed the Beast is kind of a pretty well-defined set of objectives, so I don't have a whole lot of... You know, that one's not one that requires a whole lot of input to continue wor uh, working on. But, uh, you know, if you guys have anything that you'd like to see on the Technic Trials series, please uh, please leave the leave comments. That, uh, you know, that helps me out. So, now we are on level 11, called Hell. Uh, okay, well, let's see what we're in for. Ho! Oh, yikes! Uh, yeah, that was... Just... Okay. This way, this way... And we missed. Or didn't miss, as the case may be. Falling, falling, falling. Uh, that's just sort of appeared. Yikes. This way. I thought I was far enough over. Good thing we have basically unlimited lives. No! Oh. Doesn't help when it just sort of lags a little bit there to start. 
Oh, what should have made it? This way, this way, this way, this way. Oh, oh, so close. I could see it. Oh, so close. This way, this way. Ah! Oh, so close. And yet so far away. Oh, that is hard to make that turn. Oh! Well, I made it all the way to the bottom and, uh... <laughs> left a crater. Oh! That wasn't nice. Oh. Yeah, so we'll keep dying and dying and dying. That one level spot, and I know it's there and I'm trying to avoid it. That one spot just does not seem to want to load very quickly. Yes, we made it! Swim back up. Is there... Is there a chest around here? Anyone seen a chest? There it is. Okay, on to the next. I should be keeping count of how many times I die on this. It would probably make a pretty entertaining statistic, I'm sure. Maybe somebody else will end up counting them, who knows. Just so you guys know, I'm not... Uh, making any attempts on these levels off camera, so I I'm not seeing them in advance, with the exception of uh I think there's two levels that the uh that Simon and Lewis were working on that I've that I saw on their video. Uh but I haven't seen any of the other levels in advance. So I don't know what to expect until I'm thrown into it. And Oops. Game mode zero. Open that door. Grab these. And run away. Run away! Okay, put our diamond in here. Grab a bed. And take a nap. Such a lovely bed. And we're back. Level 12, Death. And this is the first one that I saw from Yogg's cast with Simon and Lewis. Here we go. Uh, okay, this is different than what I saw on their video. Look, it's a giant skull. Yikes! That was kind of weird. That's not what, uh... Not what I saw in their video. Which makes me wonder... Oh! There we go! Spoosh! Okay, why can't I look around here? Ah, I'm drowning. Is 
see if I can avoid falling off. Over here. And let's take a look here. That is amazing. That is one huge skeleton with some really cool flames. Set our game mode. That is just amazing. The amount of time that this person put into building this map is just amazing. I mean, that's that is huge. Look how tall that thing is. Crazy. Uh, let's see. No checkpoint. Be sure to sleep. Okay. Uh, we won't change our game mode quite yet. Wait and wait till scenery is loaded. Optical illusion. Uh, that looks a little weird right now. Is it going to finish loading, or well, I still see I see stuff loading over there. Uh, well, we'll give it a moment here. Um, let's. I guess while we wait for, we should be able to go over here and get our bed set up before. Whoo! It curled around the wall. That crazy character putting our stuff on the ceiling. Potion of healing and potion of swiftness. Okay, uh, well, let's go look at... Let's go see if this has loaded yet. go this mode and see if we can see things loading. We can actually start seeing the uh, chunks load down there. I can only imagine how tricky this must have been to build some of this stuff just to get the right perspective. It's the stuff like this is I mean, it's pretty intricate, and I bet if we flew down there, it would not be quite so obvious. Let's go down a little ways. Let's take a look at this handiwork. Wow, that's amazing. Even from down here, see here it looks all level. Aha! Sneaky! That's cool. Now we'll get back up here and... Maybe, if we're lucky, it will all be loaded so we can actually take a look at it the way it's meant to be seen. Okay. There we go. Kind of an M.C. Escher style impossible structure. Cool. Okay, let's set the time and take another nap. Run down here. There we are. Okay. Flip the switch. This is level 13, the bedroom. Hop up the sand. 
Uh, whoa, things are a little upside down here. Look for the webs and vines and follow the pumpkins. Get some apples, we've already got some health, and there's some swiftness. Let's take a look around here real quick before we start trying to do anything too bad, you know, complicated. Wow, look at the desk chair and... Oh, there's even a computer there with a monitor and a graph on the wall, filing cabinets, shelves... A rug over here... Someone left their dirty socks on the floor... Looks like a guitar... Closet... Looks like things are still loading, so can't really see a whole lot yet. Yeah, well, let's see. Didn't see any pumpkins over there. I see some pumpkins down on the lower levels over there. There's some pumpkins on the shelves. So let's go take a look over here. And what do we got? We got vines down the uh, way there. And a pumpkin right there. Oh, we need to switch back to survival. And I think we just need to make a run for it and jump. And try to catch a hold of those vines to pull ourselves up. Here we go. We Oh, I went too far. Uh, let's see. And back up we go. Grab those. Actually, we should be grabbing half stacks just in case so we don't run out. There we go. Ooh, dark over here. So I see pumpkins over there, so that's... We've got to get over there somehow. Not that way. Okay, so if we come over... Back over here, we got vines going up that direction. There we go. Whoa, yikes. Climb up the vines. Hey, look, a pumpkin. And there doesn't look like we go any further that way, but there's a pumpkin over here. And it looks like we got vines climbing up this direction. So up we climb. We'll just keep climbing up and up and up. I see some spider webs up here. They really need to clean this place. Oh, we got more beds. That's a good idea. We should take a nap over here. Uh, and then we'll just set time to zero. Okay, so it looks like our pumpkin is down there. So we gotta aim for those webs. And we should be good. There we are. It's gonna take forever to get around this. So slow. I'm trying to jump through here. Oh, I should turn the uh, F3 back off. There we go. Uh, look, uh, we've got uh, Pac-Man stuff on the wall and pennants. Looks kind of like a Rubik's Cube. Some pumpkin there. Pumpkin there. I don't see anything that we're trying to jump to. 
Looks like a lighting glitch up there. There's a computer. This chair. I think our speed wore off. No. Okay, I see a pumpkin down there. Is that really our next place? Oh, I see there's webs down there. Closet over there. So I guess we aim for the webs. And we made it. We should be able to jump across that, I think. I hope. Yeah, we made it. And we almost jumped too far. And we made that. So it looks like we're coming to the end of this level. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, those are... I wonder if that's actually intended to be that way as shadows. That could be. Okay, where is the chest? There must be a chest around here somewhere, right? Ah, I think I see it. This is huge. I am truly amazed. The amount of stuff in this is just amazing, and the detail is... It's just crazy detail. Okay, so this is... Wait a bit till the scenery is loaded, impossible staircase. Oh, cool! That is really nicely done. Okay, and... Whoops, that didn't do anything. Up we go again. And... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, no checkpoint on this side. I already got lots of uh, bottles of potions. So, I didn't see a checkpoint, so we definitely want to make sure we get the uh, our spot saved here. Put our diamond away, grab a bed, change game mode, change the time, and we're just going to reset the time that way. Level 14, colors. Ooh, pretty. Swiftness potions. Huh. Wonder why we want swiftness potions for this. Well, let's, uh... Better safe than sorry. Let's refresh that. It looks like it should just be pretty straight down. Oh, whoops. Not quite far enough out. We'll grab those just so we make sure we have them. out of here. Oh, another chest with more swiftness potions. At least he doesn't make you uh, take slow walks through all of these places. That was a pretty cool level. 
And up we go. We'll go ahead and set the time now. And go. Wow, this is a long ways back up again. I think some of these are different uh, height from top to bottom. I'm not sure, though. Some of them seem to take longer to get to the top of the ladder than others do. See, we do have uh, Optifine on there. Looks kind of weird with the uh, way that w ends up working. Switch back before we forget. Uh, okay, the goal of this level is to teleport in the, in the nether before hitting the ground. The nether portal has the same shape as the road. Okay, well, uh, put that in there. And take a nap. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's take a look here. Oh, there's the nether portal right below us. So apparently we need to stay in that portal. <coughs> it says, look straight, move only left and right. Level 15, race. So apparently that will drop us directly into the portal. And we have to follow the road uh, on the opposite side. Okay. Seems simple enough. Uh, whoops. Yeah, it seems simple enough. but not nearly as simple as it may seem. Hey, we made it. Okay. Wow, that's pretty cool. Let's go see what this sign says over here. And... Human heart. Ooh. That's pretty cool. What's over here? Flint and steel. That must be if the portal is not lit. Well, we'll go through this portal. Uh, whoa. That looks like Sky Grid. Uh, yikes. Yikes. Um, let's... Let's go back through to the nether and take a quick look to see if the other portal takes us anywhere different. Because we didn't actually get the diamond or anything else from this last level. And I'm pretty sure I saw a chest for it. Yeah, there we are. Diamond, we got flint, we got a potion, and a bed. So apparently that is our way out. Take a moment to admire the road. That is pretty cool. And we'll head back over, I guess.
Okay. Run back down the road here. And see what we actually have to do for this next level. And I really hope it's not jumping around on all that sky grid shaped blocks. Um, it does. There's a spot where you could get onto the grid from right here. But it doesn't actually say to go on it. Well, let's go up the middle here where the ladder is. The, uh, that sky grid layout does very interesting things to the camera. Very cool effects. Makes it look like there's bunches of girders running through the whole thing. Oh, I really hope we don't have to jump around in that. That will be my death if we do. Okay, up we are. There's our chest full of speed potions. Switch back. Come over here and stick our bed right about there. Put our diamond away. And switch the time. Switch the time. Come on. There it is. Switch the time back. And level 16, blood. Okay. Ooh. That gives us a moment to look around. Wow, that's cool. Um, I think we kind of want to be in this general neighborhood. Oh, it wasn't deep enough. Had the right general area, just wasn't quite deep enough. There we go. I see the chest. That is cool. They really should do something about the uh, spider webs in their blood vessels, though. It's probably not healthy. Diamond. Crash. I'm guessing this is the way out. And that's one last look there. Looks like game over. Ah, look, we've got uh, space invaders. Congratulations, the games and the game ends here. Did you find the sixteen diamonds? Well, we found thirteen, so we missed three of them. Did you find the N sixty four? I think I saw that on in the bedroom. And uh, check my other map, a fly in the house, a fly in the house map won five Minecraft top five creations by B Gray, but was stolen by Mernesmeyer nineteen. Shame on you. Assuming that that is accurate, which I'm sure it is. Uh, shame, shame, shame on this guy. Bad dude. No, no, no. You don't take other people's creations, that's just mean. Yeah, let's fly up here and see what else we've got up on top. Because uh, this kind of looks like it leads back across somewhere. So, and then we'll uh, wrap this up and hopefully uh, you guys will take the time to download and try out this map as well. Oops. 
There we are. Last level. Oh, so it's not done? This level is my entry to the Dropper Community Challenge. The Library by R.S. Malik. Inspired by this map. Hmm. So what are we getting ourselves into? Oh, we're in creative mode still. I was wondering why the my count didn't go down. Okay, so there's our bed. Set some time. Take a nap. That's a good enough nap. Okay, so this one is The Living Room by Bigra. Oh. Where are we landing? Uh, crunch. Uh, I don't see a landing place. Or do we gotta... I bet we have to make that keyhole. And it should be... Whoop. Missed it again. Didn't help that it didn't load until the very last moment there. Oh, almost. I wonder if I'm not intended to actually fall the whole distance dodging. Oh, there we are. Follow the pumpkins. Okay, pumpkins. I see pumpkins over there. There's some... There's a pumpkin. Up and up we go. Oh, no. Hey, I found a pumpkin. <coughs> okay. Take something big number. And die again. Oh, well. Crunch. And over we go. Hey, look, a painting. Let's see, we are on the I wonder if I need a swiftness potion to make that jump. I think I'm going to go get some from over here. Because otherwise this is going to be very, very difficult to do anything with. And we'll leave most of them up here. And we'll take two of them with us, just in case. Crunch. Ah! Well, I did see that through the keyhole is where the exit is. Okay, try number... big number. Okay, making those jumps as long as I can get the dash to actually take effect. Oh, that is a hard jump to make. Well, at least we have enough of those. Oh, 
Whoa. I was not paying attention there. I forgot that I have to actually move backwards slightly. Instead, I was busy trying to speed things along by drinking at the same time I started falling. Whoa. Apparently, I tripped that. Wah, no! I think... Whoops. I think this one is harder than most of the rest of them. Only fitting, I suppose. Bonk. It's interesting how it takes different amounts of life each time. And let's see. So I can see a sign over there. I just gotta figure out how to get that second jump right there. I think it's just a matter of timing it right. There we go. Find the buttons. Okay. I don't like books. Push the button and run. Um, run which way? That is the question, is which way are we supposed to run? I suppose probably this direction. No, probably this way, since we have a black square there. That did not work. Or I ran too fast. I guess maybe I don't need the speed. Let's try doing it without and see if that makes it any better. Okay, here we go. Round and round and round we go. Um, this might be a problem. The spot over there seems to be a little bit uh, demolished. Um, <laughs> of course, that sort of makes sense, given that, you know, TNT is, you know, not like just a... <laughs> it doesn't just reset just because we respawned. Whoops. So, I wonder if we can even finish it as is. Whoops. Well, that was a nice view of the whole world falling away behind us. And off we go again. Bonk. So that seems to be quite the mess down there. Let's go take a look. Oh, I get it. There's a secret passage back here. Whoa! Um, we have more bookshelf or more books back here. Oh, no, I don't want to go through that yet. It does say down. Down and this way. 
got cables or something in the wall here. There's a pumpkin over there. Where are we going? Back over to the other side, I guess? Back this way? Must be. Must be. Let's try over here. Don't see anything else on this side. I do see pumpkins down there. I don't think that got us anything different. All I see is that pumpkin. And I don't see anything else. There is a pumpkin on this side, maybe. Can we jump that? Must be able to. Oh, yep, we can. Whoa! Oh, no! That was going so well, too. At least I thought it was going well. Okay. Now we have a better idea where we're going, anyway. Whoops. Uh, yeah. Crash. Take 2,935. And crash. Whoa! Ow! Overshot my landing. Sure do go through these uh, speed potions. Crunch. I think it's getting night time again, too. Woo! Still not sure what these actually are. They kind of look like matches, but I'm not sure. Here. Just need to come over this way. Might as well just swim it, that's just fine. Okay, now here's where we demonstrate my terrible. See, these look like they're matches. I'm just not sure where we actually are. What sort of a room this is that is kind of what I mean. Oh, overshot! Oh no! Man, that is hard. Let's try doing that without the speed push, and maybe that will help that part a little bit. myself by launching myself the hard way. What the heck was that? Barely jumped at all. Okay, and again. I'm probably going to need to I think what I'm going to do is actually cut the video at the, um, okay, um, if you're seeing this part, well, actually, we'll just, since this is the last, uh, level 
at least theoretically, this will just end up being a long episode, assuming that I can get it to render properly. Whoa! No! And you can see every one of these excruciating deaths out oh, to your heart's content. And there we go again. Yikes. I love the, uh... I love how detailed this is, but this is really hard for somebody that does not do very much Minecraft parkour. go around. I can see where we need to go now, it's just a matter of actually getting there. Still not sure what this particular spot is. It, maybe it's like a cabinet or something. That must be what this is. It must be like a cabinet. Okay, we're up here. Whoa, no, 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 I was on it. Oh, my. <coughs> Excuse me. And back we go again. And up we go. Getting the hang of this part. You know, I should... I think the next trip I will be bringing a bed to put right over in this area. Just... Ah! And uh, apparently that next trip is going to be right now. Let's grab a bed. That means uh, if we do get this successfully placed and used, then we won't have access to any more speed potions unless the map has them somewhere down in here. But, oh well, I th I'm guessing we can probably do this without them. There we go, that part done. Part. Okay, now we're going to put a bed right over here. That way we don't have to do that first part of it. Ooh, made it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Try to land on the web. There it is. Ooh, oh, and we've got to jump. Okay. Ah. Oh my. This is going to take a while. Man. I wonder if a regular jump would get me on that. We'll try that. Because the speed jump seems to... Oh, good. That's actually an easier jump than I thought it was. Stuck thumb.
the landing. Wow, that's pretty cool. Golf clubs. Okay, I see a pumpkin down there. Kind of an entryway area. Woo! Yikes, just about messed that up. I think I did just mess that up. Uh, I'm going to cheat just a little bit here. Game mode one. Huh? Oh, that's because. That's because I accidentally ended up uh, exiting the world. Okay. Doesn't look like we have any further that way we can go. Where's the next pumpkin? Okay, where are we supposed to go now? Oh, there's a door. There's a door in here. With a chest. Oh, look, beds and apples. Neat. Uh, let's see. Time set 18,000. We're done sleeping. Okay, so we're down here. Now where? All I see is a pumpkin at the very bottom. Well, we did just set our spawn right there, so... Oh, I think I just saw it. Okay. Take a drink. There we are. And I see webs on, or see a pumpkin on that side. Whoops! Okay. Oops, that did not work. I did not end up sprinting there. Oh my. What a tangled web we weave. Oh, I missed the webs. Okay. There we are. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Ooh. Jump across the table. And we should be able to make that jump, I think. Why did it not sprint? Is there an easier way to make it sprint? Uh, no, doesn't seem like it. Okay, 
here we go again and again. Come on. Boom. Man. Then I'll get the sprint and miss the jump. I'm just not good at this whole running and jumping business. Oh, that's a really bad spot to end up in those webs for this purpose. See, and then as soon as I end up out of the webs... Oh, I'm actually dropping to the lower part of the book here. As soon as I end up out of the webs, I end up running around like a madman. There we go. There we go. Nailed it. Hmm. The uh, table seems to have sprung a leak. What did that do? Oh. Well, there we go. Down the waterfall we go. Looks like that's just to keep the water from flowing off the t this part. Okay. Oh, this is all ice. Okay, I see pumpkins down there. I see pumpkins over here. Made it. Look at all of this stuff. We get a wolf and some bone. Hey, he likes us. I don't know what that helps us do, but we got him. You can come with us. Uh, let's see, that looks like a handle for a drawer. Where do we go from here? Looks bright down there. Hmm. Well, oh, I guess we'll survive that. And I think we are coming up on the end of the level here. That's the exit room. Take another look at the living room here. Very well done, B. Gray. Thank you very much for your effort and uh, for everybody that's watching. The end, end, end. Sploosh. And it's gone. Thank you very much, for everyone, for watching. Thank you very much, B. Gray, for making this wonderful map. Uh, very w uh, nice job. And. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little mini-series, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!